not the guy stationed at some desks up front. We bend our own metal, but we don't manufacture another board to see the of our metal. The container itself has three things that plug into it. Uh, power, uh, it's got cold water supply and return lines, and uh, obviously a network connection of some sort. On the, on the, as I mentioned earlier, it's cold water uh, chilled uh, cooling system. We can uh, run it off a building cold water loop or drop a, a cold water chiller alongside the container. And, uh, the best way to look at it is uh, as a data center building block. It can be uh, drop one of these behind a building for some supplemental space. We've got customers looking at ganging 50 of them together. Uh, you know, it could be out in a field, in a warehouse, under a tent. Um, it's really a, just a flexible data center building block that uh, gives you a lot more options than you normally have uh, with a traditional building-based data center. And uh, it's mobile on top of that. It's uh, moving from one place to the next. You know, chase cheap power, cheap land. Uh, Whatever, whatever uh, the company's needs are, it can uh, assist with going after that. And how many of these do you have deployed? Are you uh, talking about that? Not specific numbers, but it's a new product for Rackable. We launched it last year. It's a shipping product. We do have these already deployed with customers uh, on customer sites. Uh, we, we did one where we just dropped it in the back of a, of a corporate headquarters building. and. Uh, Looks like a truck making a delivery, very nondescript. Um, but you know, there's a large little supplemental data center sitting out in the backyard of that company. So All right. and what are we looking at down here? So this is our sort of demo unit. Uh, what you saw up front would just normally repeat itself, but we didn't fully populate the rest of the container here. Okay. But uh, you're looking at about if this was fully populated, about 1,400 servers total. Uh, you work out the dual socket, quad core processors, that's 11,000-ish cores of computing power. Uh, we can also do a bunch of storage. I think it ends up being about 7 petabytes of storage we can fit in here. Or a mix of both. It's a, we can mix and match any of our half-depth servers in here. All right, and now this is, the, this is the 40 or the 20? We're standing in the 40-foot container. Uh, we're using about 30 feet of it for data center space, mm -hmm. uh, with that 10-foot vegetable area in the front. Right. We could also do a 20-foot container. And where that space up front, we can do servers all the way to the end. Uh, or, you know, you could have a knock, some guys stationed at some desks up front. We bend our own metal, but we don't manufacture another board to see the of our